Buddy to the 2022 tournament finals featuring Star Dolphin and your favorite Imperial Loyalist, uh, me, Combat Wombat. So here we're doing a single game in the tournament uh, set up through, um, through a bid system, um, as you can see through the initial credit scroll there, what the rules to that were. Um, as everybody knows, I'm a, I'm a fond of playing Imperials, and especially in this finals game here, I want to make sure I'm playing to my strengths. So you can see the map here has um, one Rebel Loyalty and Ryloth that cannot be subjugated, but two Loyalty that can be in Bothwee and Naboo through Rhodia. There's also no Moncal loyalty and no Seleucami subjugation. So I think in reality, this is probably a minus one Imperial map, maybe a zero bid map. But I really want to make sure I'm playing Empire and I don't want to leave it to a roll off. So I'm going to go ahead and bid minus two. Um, that means if Dolphin bids minus one, then I will get to play Imperial. And if he does bid minus two, then we'll be rolling off to see how we do. So I bid two. Dolphin bids one. So that gives me the Empire, which is exactly what I wanted. Now, a minus two bid, what that means is I'll only have my starting missions at the beginning. I will not have um, any initial mission draws on turn one. On turn two, I'll be drawing four missions. So it'll even out at turn two, but I'll miss that that first turn, you know, I will not have Tarkin's card or display a power or anything like that. Um, so that's okay though, we're gonna go with it. I'll choose the base deck. Dolphin does the same with the Rebels. And as you can see, we're doing base uh, deployment here. So how to deploy on this map? But we definitely need a strong fleet out in Rhodia. Um, we need a strong uh, presence out in Mandalore. And then we need some sort of presence either in Celeste or in Coruscant. So depending on how we feel here, I might go with a Death Star and an ATAT -AT in Coruscant, or I might go in Celeste. I'm just going to see how my ground deployment feels here once I sort of get it on the map. Um, so at the moment, I'm, I'm leaning towards this because I like the idea of Celeste being able to backtrack and go to Corellia, also to be able to go up to Naboo. Um, I want to play this game pretty conservative, so I want to try to make sure my Star Destroyers are staying central and not getting stuck in the corners. Um, so that means probably Mandalore will go to Seleucami, and then the assault carrier will go to Mon Cal. And I have a last minute change of heart where I decide to put the more mobile force on the home base and leave the, the light 
group out in Celeste. Now, Dolphin looks like he's going to take advantage of that with deployment out in Bespin, which I think makes sense. You know, you want to attack the the light Imperial target. So whether or not he goes for an aggressive landing and tries to take out the ATST and block my Celeste production, or if he just goes to, you know, block Mustafar, either one of those I think would be a valid strategy. So we will wait and see. All right, starting, uh, let's see what we draw for starting cards. I I'm always hope for Mahdi. I don't draw him here, but I draw the next two strongest cards, which are the Emperor's card and Tarkin's card. So I like both of those. Rebel base is chosen. I will not be guessing here. Um, and again, the, the strategy is just going to be basic. So you can see here, I'm going to drop the two missions that I pulled, which are Collect Bounty and address delay so those are two i could have had at the beginning but because of the bid i will not have them so we'll go ahead and uh, delete that deck swap out the new deck dolphin will draw his two starting cards i will draw no starting cards and then we are off and running this tournament has been a long time in the making we started on may uh may the 4th um star wars day and uh, we had a lot of signups. We played a ton of games. I think we had 35 games in total this year. It was pretty cool. I think I might have overshot <laughs> what, the, what the scope of the tournament was going to be. So lesson learned for, for next year. But uh, yeah. All right. So we've got Dolphin with two missions. We've got Leia and Mothma on missions. And we've got Dodonna and Riken out. I run no missions at all because I don't have an easy rule by fear. Um, and Dodonna is going to start out taking out Mustafar with the Corvette and two troops. So that means he's not going to do a turn one retreat. So I may play the 501st here to guarantee a kill. And then I might get lucky and kill a second. Um, he does hold them back, so we each blow up one. And he is left with um, removing that build of mine on Mustafar. Okay, I have four moves here. So two of them are obvious. So always do the obvious moves first. We're going to Bothui. Um, and we'll send uh, two Stormtroopers here. I want to keep my ATSTs to put some pressure on the eastern side of the board here. So normally I move a troop in an ATST. In this case, I'll leave the ATSTs behind. My rebels are going to infiltrate with Leia. It means Mothma's on build alliance for uh, Utapau. And I've got the Emperor back, so I will hold the Emperor and move with Tarkin. If he tries to uh, build alliance in Utapau, I will definitely try to block that with the Emperor. Um, I don't have two really good moves left to do, so I would absolutely love to block that. Let's see what Dolphin does here. He's got an attack he can host, but he's actually probably predicting my block and dropping Riken on Utapau. So I briefly think about moving Vader to Utapau just to prepare for the block, but... I, it's not worth it. I'd rather get the Assault Carrier out here. So we'll get an Assault Carrier by dropping a Star Destroyer on Ord. Uh, Alliance will be built in Utapau, so he'll get his Nebulon and his Corvette. And then I have one extra move here. So I can either go to... Uh, you want something that'll give you a build. So I can either go blow up Rebel units with the Death Star, or I can just take the extra ATST build, which is what I'm going to do. So I'll leave one behind, I'll move my fleet up north. Um, it was not worth playing the Emperor's card just to destroy some starting rebel units, so we'll leave everything there. Draw our probes. Nothing fantastic. And we'll draw our extra two missions, which are propaganda. Would have loved to have had that first turn for Naboo. Um, but that's what the bid system does. Uh, drew a... Uh, early lure to the dark side too, but along with uh, secure the plan. So some nice capture missions, but I don't want to get fancy here with capturing. Um, we'll take Soontir, because Soontir's card is real nice for wiping. I might even use it first turn and just get rid of uh, 
Maybe get rid of that transport and trap those troops on Bespin. That might be nice. Rebels are going to pick Akbar. So we've got Akbar and Soontir. Um, I, he's got some deployment. I've got a little bit of ground deployment to do. Let's see what he does. One in the base. It's unit number seven in the base. And then he's actually going to swap out this X-Wing build with a Y-Wing. And um, he's going to drop that in Ryloth. And then a troop in Utapau. Okay. Nope, maybe Ryloth. Nope, Utapau. Okay. So with a troop in Utapau, uh, let's put some extra beef in Naboo. Make sure we win that. Drop some extra beef in um, Seleust. Make sure we win that. I'm going to put all the ATSTs in Seleust, uh, which will help me deal with um, those rebel troops out in the southeastern region there. Lando and crew out in Bespin. Leave one guy in the queue. I got a nice couple of ATATs and an assault carrier coming out on two, but nothing on three. So I'm a little bit behind on capital ship production. I think I can make up for it with Tarkin's card here. Um, maybe if I draw some address delays too. Rebels keeping Akbar. Nope. Rebels keeping Riken back for one aggressive movement. So in theory, they could open with a Death Star attack, but I don't think that's what he's going to do. Maybe maybe move back to Hoth and save those rebels for another day. Um, for me, what are my goals for this turn? Um, I think I'll probably go to Utapau, subjugate that, although there's something to be said for Geonosis and then dropping your assault carrier on Geonosis. Um, but instead I'll just put Vader on Rule by Fear. Um, and then I'll keep four moves available. So we'll move to maybe Corellia, maybe to uh, Moncal, build some loyalty there. Got a couple of options. Akbar opens up with a Rapid. And then, um, let's see how we move here. Yep, Tarkin to Moncal. And I don't think I need to trap an ATST up there, but um, I'll go ahead and do it anyway, I guess. Well, I'm thinking about it. Nope, just one single troop. And then I can deploy there next turn because I have some, some beef coming out again. All right, Moncal is covered, and now I can rule it by fear if I want to do that with Vader and have a decent decent success rate at that. Let's see what we're doing here. Infiltrating, okay. Infiltrate away, Ripples. Still all on level one at the moment. So I got to go to Utapau. I'll go ahead and do that now bring tag he usually does not let me down and then I gotta decide what to leave in Naboo because that's gonna become a nice sabotage target I don't have a tank there probably should have deployed a tank there so I could have left it but just leave a trooper and uh, nobody has hold them back anymore so we'll just block hits try to keep my trooper alive dolphin decides to maybe do the same nope he does a red damage. He's going to try to kill the ATST there. Can uh, end this conversation with a heal right here. Not yet. And uh, two rerolls. Nope, no heal. Let's see if he rolls a crit. No crit. Okay. ATST is alive. Utapau is subjugated. Um. Now, could there have been a move there where I tried not to kill him and then retreat to Geonosis? Maybe, um, but I really didn't want to leave that rebel loyalty up there. Um, all right, let's see what Leia's up to here. Looks like probably a sabotage. Sabotage on Bakui, that makes sense. Prevents me from building shield bunkers. And then I have two moves and a roll by fear left. So part of me really wants to go and crush either Bespin or Mustafar. But I'm just going to keep letting Dolphin decide what he wants to do there. He decides not to block. I, was, I think I was kind of hoping he would block so that I could 
attack his guys freely, but um, instead he will build Alliance in Toydaria, which is an interesting choice. So I'll likely subjugate that, but first let's go ahead and try to take out some rebels here. So why not take out the Corvette first? The Corvette actually has a decent chance of surviving the Death Star because of the cancel card. The transport does not. So I will just wipe the transport with um, the Death Star laser card. It'll go straight through the escort card, wipe the transport, make sure he cannot retreat during the ground step. And then I just need to make sure my three ATSTs can take out four rebel troopers. And this accomplishes the goal of just weakening rebel forces in general. So I'll do two damage, he'll say no card next turn. Probably could have flipped the combat here too, but should be all right. Roll three and three, got two extra hits. Two extra hits, the reds don't do anything, so we got full damage on everything. One, two, ooh, ouch, two crits and a heal. Okay, so he's got a heal up, one ATST down. Uh, he has to take the heal, and I cannot do any sort of cheeky retreating because I've got the Death Star on the on site here. So we just have to go again with the Emperor. Not really concerned about confrontation here for obvious reasons, so we just need to make sure we kill this troop. So flipping the combat here maybe is a good idea. Um, I, oh, I guess I can't play a card this turn, so... All right, he will block hits and successfully block one. But I'll do one more and then see what he does here. One heal. Okay, he decides not to re-roll that so he can keep cycling through cards. And flip the combat, it looks like. Yep, I think that's a good pick. Okay, flip the combat, he will flip it back. He also used confrontation, which is nice. And one hit, and one heal. All right, this is the trooper that does not want to go down. Okay, combat is already flipped. Um, no, he flipped it back, so I guess we'll go ahead and play no card next turn so he can't cycle his cards. Okay, no card next turn. He does a damage. Two and two. Okay, enough to kill it. Now I just want to heal my guy. Nope. See if he gets a crit. He does get a crit. Okay. Down to one ATST remaining. That was closer than it should have been. So two ATSTs down in exchange for four rebel troops and all of my combat cards. Should have brought tag. Way to go, Emperor. All right, and then Soontir is going to subjugate Toydaria. Now, interestingly enough, he's got loyalty in Bothui and Toydaria. Um, if you remember in my hand, I have Imperial Propaganda. So this, to me, feels like a Support of the Huts play there. Um, so we're going to try to be careful about that next turn, because that's one of the rebel... Like, we want to minimize rebel objectives being scored. We want to play super conservative this game. Um, that's why I left a TIE fighter back in Bothwe, um, just to make sure that, you know, we're not giving him cut supply lines and that we're not letting him rapid mobe into a place that sabotage that I already checked out by leaving a fighter there. So, all right, two not very good probes, got Ord and Utapel, both of which are already subjugated. So right now... Three of my four probes I'm already sitting on, so that's not great. But that's okay. Got Ozzel's card, got Mahdi's card, and then got Piet for my draft pick. I like that card. I like both of Piet's cards. They're situ situationally good for different things, obviously. Um, Ready for Action lets me play a little bit defensively. So if I can bait him from attacking out of the base, I can drop Piet have a combat, Piet can come back home. If I win that combat, I can then counterattack back in. But where to deploy? We're gonna put an assault carrier in Celeste with a tank. 
or maybe an ATAT. -AT. Now, why do that? I'm trying to think about where he can build alliance this turn because it's a build turn. I don't have anything next to Cato. So I think it's important to have an assault carrier that can get to Cato. Now, yes, he could hit and run it, but I think it's uh, still pretty critical that I'd be able to cover just about everything. The only place I will not be able to get to this turn is Ryloth. Um, and again, we're expecting a build alliance up in Nalhada or Castle, so we're going to try to play play pretty defensive around that. So rebels on missions, you can see we've got Leia, Mothma, Akbar. Chirut was the draw card, so we need to be uh, attentive of his Bezos loyalty card, which allows him to blow up two units in a ground combat. Actually, in any combat. So he's on a mission, um, and then I've got um, I've got to be on propaganda, and I've also got to be on rule by fear in case propaganda fails. So we're playing fully against support of the huts this turn. So emperor on propaganda, Tarkin on rule by fear. Now Tarkin on rule by fear also doubles, um, has to make the rebel player think twice about sabotaging. Um, I do have a loyal Mon Cal right now, so if I don't put Tarkin or Tag on a mission, the easy decision is just to subjugate, um, subjugate, or sorry, sabotage Mon Cal. Leia's going to start with building alliance in Corellia. Makes me wonder what Mothma's on anytime Leia does anything. Um, but uh, Soon is just going to blow up some rebels. So Reekin comes out to defend. Uh, he's going to go ahead and cancel my card, and I play the no card next turn, which I think is the best card to play if you think your card's going to be canceled, unless you're going heavy interdictor. Um, I wipe out the Corvette with a nice roll, and then um, also take out this single troop here, so he cannot retreat. So the Death Star has now successfully wiped both kind of little rebel enclaves. We've covered Bespin and Mustafar to make sure he can't gain a build from either of those places. Um, we're preparing for support of the huts, and if he doesn't use it, I can still use Imperial Propaganda to strip Ryloth, which I think would be useful because then he can't build there either. Um, Dodon is gonna go ahead and infiltrate, so he's on round one and two missions here, um, and he's gonna put the level two on top. So he's within striking distance of grabbing Death Star plans. So Tag will go ahead and move uh, to Corellia, which was just loyalty gained on, and we'll subjugate that. Corellia is kind of an interesting pick. Um, Dolphin and I had joked about the base being there earlier, so um, I felt like I needed to go there. Okay, we got a sabotage on Bespin, so definitely trying to remove my shield bunker ability to build. Uh, makes me think maybe he's going for Death Star plans. And gonna still get one on the map here, it looks like, through Seleucami. Then Piet's gonna head up to Geonosis. Now you'll note I did not play Tarkin's card on Utapau at the start here because I wanted to get Piet to Geonosis. I didn't want to trap my fleet there and then not be able to stop a loyalty gain in Geonosis. All right, we got um, Akbar on contingency plan. Okay, that's not great. Uh, so that has to be build alliance that he's on now. Again, probably prepping for support of the huts, and then Mothma could be on trade relations here. Although if she was on trade relations, maybe we would have seen that on, well, actually, we'll probably see that on Coruscant is what we'll see. So I'll go ahead and do a rule by fear, and I'll just put it up in Utapal. Um, I don't think that's actually the best way to go about it, but what that does in theory is, I guess, maybe... I don't know what it does. I think I was thinking maybe they double loyalty on Celeste or something, but we're going to build alliance in Nalhada. And now that he's dropped the build alliance in Nalhada, now I can propaganda where my, um, where my force is. And I can do it there, remove the loyalties from three places. That'll set the rebels way behind on loyalty. 
and then Mothma is going to um, trade relations, which makes sense in Moncal. So that removes my Star Destroyer build. That puts another Moncal on the queue on turn three with an X Wing, it looks like. So I'm definitely down on capital ships. Um, it's a build turn. I have Toydaria, I have Ord Mantel. Vader can try to go somewhere useful. There's not a whole lot of useful places, so just try to go somewhere that maybe can hedge against some objectives. So if I go to a, um, like if I go to Dagobah or I go to Ilum and he were to draw raid outposts, I could at least cover one of the raid outposts or one of the outposts fairly well. So I'll go ahead and move to Dagobah. That also searches a location. I didn't think he would put the base in Dagobah, but um, solved a few challenges there. Okay, Yavin's a nice draw. Let's take a look at this probe map here. So we've got up north, we've got Kessel, Nalhutta, Tatooine, and Ryloth as possibilities. In the south, we've got Endor and Hoth. And then in the west, we've got Dantooine and Ilum, and also Dathomir. So not drawing real great probes here. Um, so again, I just need to be careful. I'm not building a lot of Star Destroyers, so I need to try to keep my Star Destroyers alive. I need to try to keep my Death Star alive. Um, I'm going to go ahead and draw Jer Gerard as my hero and take Fully Operational as the card. Now that's intentional because my Death Star is a little bit vulnerable here. I am building a shield bunker, but only one, and I want to be able to, if he attacks with a Nebulon, um, I can then fully operational it before he can play his card. And then that at least gives me a fighter's chance of blowing up some um, some starfighters. So we'll we'll go with we'll go with Joe Gerard. And then we'll see where he's deploying here. Now he's got capital ships coming out. I don't. Um, I do have one shield bunker on queue and then just a little bit of light garrison to deploy. You can always sort of tell if you got a Death Star run coming up, I feel like, with whether or not the Nebulon or the Mon Cal goes into the base. In this case, Mon Cal goes out to Ryloth. Um, so now I got a choice. I can deploy the shield bunker up on top of my Star Destroyer or I can deploy it on my Death Star. I almost, I actually edited out a long wait here. I, I had it on my Star Destroyer for quite a while. And then I just I just said, you know what, that's not what we're doing. We're playing conservative. Um, if he goes after the Star Destroyer and wants to take it out, you know, I can, I can throw a leader there. I can block some hits. I can try to retreat. Um, I don't need to expose the Death Star any more than I have to here. So I have two defensive Death Star cards. I've got the Shield Bunker, and I've also got Jared Gerard's card. So I feel like we're in relatively okay shape. Now he does have two Y-Wings and the Mon Cal in place. So for me, it makes... Oh, and he's got Luke to go after the Death Star too, probably. So it makes a lot of sense, I think, to use Soon Tears card now to just try to wipe the Y-Wings. And maybe he makes a mistake and doesn't send a leader, in which case maybe I can snipe that Mon Cal too. But I should be able to take out both of these Y-Wings. I'm rolling four black dice with two re-rolls, and he only has one black heal. So you might be tempted to go in with just a few um, fighters here, but I'm bringing four. And we'll see if he brings a leader or not. He does have Akbar and he does have Luke there. So he's actually going to bring Akbar, and then the next question is, does he play It's a Trap to prevent me from playing the TIE Fighter card? Um, now my plan here is just to kill the Y-Wings. I'm not actually going after the Mon Cal, but he wants to play it safe, which I, I get. I think that makes sense. Um, and he will not let me play Swarm Tactics. So I'll just be rolling four dice, and he'll play a card, and I will not. So he'll play Rogue Squadron Raid to take out a TIE Fighter. And I'll roll four. One hit, three hits. Two of them are crits, so I guess if I had played Swarm Tactics, maybe I could have taken out the Mon Cal. But he does two back. OK. 
three back, no no Y wing heels. So I got what I want. I traded two X wings for a Y wing. He stuck the Moncal in place with Akbar. Now here's a trick I learned from a player. You've uh, if you haven't seen Cornell and I talking about rebel strategies, you should check that one out on the channel as well. Um, his concept is if you play one action card, you play a lot of them because then you're only spending one round where you're behind in terms of activations. So playing Soon Tears and Tarkin's card on the same turn makes a lot of sense. Playing Tarkin's card in Utapau is nice because I'm not trying to move troops out of there. I'm also defending against a sabotage. And if I rule by fear in Utapau, I can just add Tarkin's dice to that total. So I'll drop Vader on a mission again, spoil alert, it's rule by fear, um, and keep four activations. One to go to Ryloth, um, and then three other flexible, flexible ones. So we're sabotaging uh, my ATST production again. So Chibrut dropping a sabotage in uh, Salukamai. Luke is still behind. Vader on Rule by Fear. Um, he doesn't have anybody to block unless he's on um, Subversion. So I'll go ahead and play it and see if he lets me do it. And he does. So I'll gain loyalty in Utapau. Now that tells Luke that I'm not capturing, but it seems all right. He's going to base defenses in Ryloth, and I'm not going to oppose that. Now, base defenses, that gives him a pretty thick base at the moment, and it's going to be hard to crack. So where is the base likely here? Well, we've got it available all over the area. We have kind of a fun move available to us up in Geonosis, though. So we're going to try that here. We're going to attack the single Moncal, and we're going to bring everything. Okay. Now, this does a few things. When you attack from Geonosis, the only viable retreat spot is Tatooine. However, I get first option of retreat. So attacking Ryloth lets me know if the rebel base is there, so it's not. Then I can try to do damage and save the TIE Fighter. So what I'm going to try to do here is block black hits, and I'll show you how this will work out. Um, so we'll block black hits, and we'll try to keep the TIE Fighter alive. At least I think that's what I do. Yeah, that's what I do. Unless I changed my mind. I think the right play is to block hits. Okay, so if we keep the TIE Fighter alive, we retreat the Star Destroyer, the Mon Cal cannot retreat, and the TIE Fighter can then play Swarm Tactics and take out the Mon Cal. Um, it's kind of a lofty goal. Mostly I just wanted to check the base and check Tatooine with one single move. Um, he's going to block two hits, so that's going to make this maneuver pretty close to impossible. Maybe I roll some crits. He'll also do a damage on the Star Destroyer. Okay. Emperor's rolled one heal, and we'll re-roll three. Go ahead and heal the Star Destroyer. Again, ultra-conservative, the better move. Well, maybe. Um, actually, I guess it didn't matter because he was blocking it. So do one damage to the Mon Cal. So not enough to take it down next turn with just a TIE Fighter. Now, I could stay, but he would leak out to Tatooine. So I have to retreat. Um, I can retreat with Soontir if I want and leave the Emperor there to reroll. roll um, But I have to retreat with the Star Destroyer so that he cannot retreat. Okay, I'll leave some units behind in Ryloth to make sure that he can't rapid back to the base or rapid and move the base over to Ryloth. And there is a world where if I retreat with the Emperor into, um, into Tatooine, maybe he gets confronted by revealing the rebel base there, but we will see. Um, then the next decision I need to make is do I bring the TIE Fighter or not, or do I try to do Swarm Tactics plus roll a crit? Um, I think the right move was actually to stay there. But instead, again, ultra-conservative, I just retreat, leave the Mon Cal alive. It would only be a like a 1 in 8 chance or something because he could roll heals too. All right, back to business. Rebels infiltrating an Ord. 
then I have three movements left to make, and I'd like to try to wait out his build alliance. Again, we're not in a build turn here, so we'll see. Uh, that Emperor move allowed me to check Tatooine and Ryloth, so I have that corner of the map walled off. Uh, granted, uh, granted, Geonosis is available to be moved into now, um, but I can cover that next turn as well. So we'll go ahead and just keep checking the map. We'll check Alderaan, nothing there. The core is a little bit open, which is why I have not moved that Star Destroyer off of Ord yet. Um, if he were to pull like a hit and run and then try to hidden fleet into Coruscant, that would be bad news. Okay, Leia building in Geonosis. Now I can't really prevent that this turn, but I can go back and subjugate it next turn. Um, and I'd be happy to fight the Mon Cal if the Mon Cal wants to move into there next turn as well. All right, we got to probably cover Kessel or Nel Hutta this turn. If we cover Kessel, we can cut back across to Nel Hutta next turn. If we go to Nel Hutta, we would then be cutting across to Kessel, and then both are basically in the corner. So we'll just drop Piet up there, hope the base is not there. It's not. And then um, can't stop whatever Mothma's up to. She already played trade relations. We already had um, contingency plan, hidden fleet. Okay, now I edited out a long pause here. Um, Dolphin debated on taking the majority of the base, some of the base, not very much of the base, and he ends up settling on the Nebulon and a couple of Starfighters, leaving some items in the base with the idea of he's going to then deploy that troop that's in queue to Geonosis as well. Now that sets him up for a Star Destroyer kill first turn next round. Um, maybe if he had a Y-Wing there too. And at the moment here we're joking about, well, you know, maybe I'll maybe I'll get lucky and draw Ozzel. Um, so I guess we'll have to see how that works out. So we end up with some fleet there and Rebel Cell being drawn, which he knew it was there because of Infiltrate. So picking um, Geonosis seems like a good spot. He can drop Rebel Cell there, um, and then he can attack out, pick off that Star Destroyer. Now I have some carriers that I can deploy as well, so we'll see how that goes. Okay, I drew Kessel and Tatooine, continuing the curse of drawing probes that are on planets I've just covered. So the probe map still looks like a mess and I gotta discard some cards here. Discard interrogation, discard secure the plans. Been holding on to that, haven't done a capture all game. And we've got Ozzel or Jabba. We'll take Ozzel here. Um, Ozzel lets me get a jump on that rebel cell. So I tell Dolphin over Mike I have Ozzel. He's not super happy about that. He's got Obi-Wan Kenobi. So now I've got some choices with deployment. So I can, again, we can go conservative or we can go aggressive. Probably an aggressive play would be to drop a, um, drop an assault carrier off in Naboo maybe, or in Utapau, and then bring that in to Geonosis. Um, Instead, I'm going to just go ahead and go about searching the galaxy because I've got a lot of ground to cover. So we'll put a, a carrier out in Megiddo. Uh, we'll put another carrier out in Slust again to cover um, Kato. And then um, you'll see I pulled a carrier off the queue, it looks like, in Dagobah. I um, must needed some carriers to build. So got one in Slust, one in Megiddo. Um, we got Rebels on missions so far with Akbar, uh, One in a Million Luke, and Baze's Loyalty, Chirrut, all behind. Akbar's out of cards. So what to do here? Um, you know, it depends. Uh, Rebel Cell, he hasn't scored any objectives so far, so leaving Rebel Cell up is real bad news. So in theory... I can ozzle in from Tatooine. Now, it really matters what troops he keeps back here. On Tatooine, I only have four health worth of units, and I don't have anybody else nearby. Again, 
a more conservative play probably would have been to also deploy into Utapau with one of these carriers. But I'm, I needed to make sure he doesn't build anything. So I'm going to move into Geonosis, and that's going to require I leave nothing behind in Tatooine. Why? Because if he brings uh, Chirrut and plays Baze's loyalty to wipe my ATST, then he could play hold them back to wipe my my um, stormtrooper. Now I have my pick of combat cards because I have imposing presence here. So I can play imposing presence, then grab 501st, then wipe his unit and leave my tank behind where he can't reroll at all. So I need to bring everything. Um, I guess I could have left a TIE Fighter behind, but that seems like a fight I might not win. Two X-Wings and a Nebulon versus a Star Destroyer. So here we'll actually make a mistake. Um, I'll play the TIE Fighter card. The correct card to play here is the one red damage card because he has the Nebulon card, um, which he plays. So I mistakenly think I can Swarm Tactics it, but I totally messed that up. So... Um, if it weren't a tournament game, I'd probably ask for a redo, but that's totally on me there. Um, so now I've basically wasted a good card, managed to not kill the Nebulon probably. Oh, we got two hits. Two hits. Okay, he can remove both of the black hits with the Nebulon card. Um, I can do two damage on the Nebulon. But again, had I rolled my, or had I played my one red damage card, the Nebulon would be toast, and now I'm open. Uh, he has one more black dice to roll. So one to kill the fighter. He gets a re-roll here. And he did not bring a leader. So that Nebulon is toast. Um, at some point. Hopefully. Okay. Uh, he kills the TIE Fighter. He's got all his space units available. Um... So again, he did not bring Chirrut and Basis Loyalty. So it's not as critical that I 501st here, but I just need to not get unlucky. I need to I need to make sure the Rebel Cell's gone, especially because I might be losing this Star Destroyer. So we'll 501st. I think he'll do a red damage, yeah then red damage on the ATST. I will 501st to prevent him from rolling a crit. Um, that leaves everything there. And I'll keep fighting this fight just to see. Do an extra red damage, take out that Nebulon. Um, see if I can roll some crits. Nope, one damage on the X-Wing. He heals it. Um, and then I can flip the combat. He can say no removing damage. I can't remove, but I do one hit, two hits, X-Wings are dead. Okay, so that ended up being a good catch them by surprise. We've still got the Mon Cal in the corner. Uh, it now has an escape through Tatooine. That's okay. Um, and then we will go ahead and just drop Vader on Rule by Fear again. That seems to be what he's been doing all game. So we'll... Uh, We'll keep that out. The Death Star is in pretty good shape here. Um, you know, Dodonna could be on playing the Assault, but the Nebulons and the X-Wings are out of the base, so I'm not too worried about that anymore. Um, I do have to check Hoth. You can see I've made these little dots on the map where I have to go to. So I'm going to check Nalhutta, Hoth, um, Kashyyyk, Kato, um, and we're going to go to Dantooine this turn too. So hoping for not a lot of hit and runs. See what Obi's up to. That's Covert Operations. That's a good card. Infiltrate, but draw one. So he'll go ahead and take another level two mission. Um, I'm going to get out of here before, you know, anything, any incite rebellions or whatever ruin my plans. We'll check Nalhutta. Nothing there. Okay, that means Dantooine, Ilum, Dathomir, Hoth, Endor, Malastair. Likely possibilities. Okay, he's stacking on the Death Star. I don't like that. Um, but I, I don't need to move it until he sabotages the shield bunker. So I just need to keep Jer Gerard back to move the Death Star 
if I need to. You know, if I move it and he's on Hoth, he's got those Y wings. Again, unlikely, but possible. Um, here's a move to Dantooine. I probably should have brought that Stormtrooper too, so I could check Dathomir next turn and still leave something behind. But he's not in Dantooine. So now we're down to Dathomir, Ilum, uh, the three middle planets, or the two in the bottom right corner next to the Death Star. That'd be a pretty brave base choice, picking in that quadrant with the Death Star there. Um, but you know, tournament games, sometimes risky decisions or risky things have to be done. Uh, Piet's going to go ahead and go to Cato. That seems like the safest place for him. Nothing there. Again, we're trying to, trying to wait out build alliances, but running out of time. All right, Chirut's got an action here, and he's going to Naboo, but not to hang out, just to attack. Or not to attack, just to hang. Okay, so he's trying to hold off for gaining alliance or building alliance too. So now I need to decide whether or not I'm going to move this Death Star or sit it still. And the answer is I'm not going to move the Death Star. I'm going to consolidate my navy into Mandalore. I feel like Dathomir is a nice target here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and grab all my fleet and put them together. Now that does a couple things. If he's in Kashyyyk, now I've got a nice mobilized fleet next to Kashyyyk. If he's in Dathomir, I have a nice mobilized fleet against Dathomir. Again, I'm probably overreacting, but he, with the Rapid there, he could pull the Mon Cal back. He's got another Mon Cal to deploy. It just feels like a situation where if he was in Dathomir... You know, and I left my stuff out piecemeal. He could pick one Star Destroyer off retreat, pick another one off next turn. Like, I just, I don't like two Mon Cal's together. So we'll just play conservative. Uh, one fleet, giant fleet to uh, Mandalore. Then I'll move the Death Star down to Bespin with the idea of ruling that by fear. And then uh, R&Ding the Sabotage away. Leia's going to sabotage Naboo. That's fine. Okay. A lot of work on Naboo over here. Probably an Insight Rebellion coming up with a Seize Control, maybe. But we're going to go ahead and try to rule by fear. Now, he's got Akbar, so it's two on three. Maybe I should have kept the Emperor back for that. I don't know. I like Vader on a mission, though, because he threatens capture. So I'm going to roll three. He's going to oppose with Admiral Fishhead. Rolled two, he rolled three. Okay, so no loyalty investment. That's kind of unfortunate. And no R&D investment either. Also unfortunate. Okay, Mothma, I'm out of moves. So she can either go to Kashyyyk and get two or Malastir and gain one. Now that's kind of interesting. Why not? Take Kashyyyk. It is a build round. Okay, I got a super laser and a, a super star destroyer. Now, why not take a super laser? Well, it's a good question, especially because he could be at Endor and um, Hoth. But if the Death Star is toast, which I can't build a shield bunker under it now, um, then I need that Super Star Destroyer. So we'll go that instead. And I drew Dathomir, which is surprising. I was actually pretty convinced the base was on Dathomir. Um, now I'm pretty convinced the base is on Endor or Hoth. Um, so I drew Dathomir, drew Corellia. Have to discard some cards here. Again, haven't been playing a lot of missions because we're just sticking the basics and moving around. I also got to get to Malastare because he built loyalty on there instead of Kashyyyk. So Malastare is also a possibility. Um, either way, I got a nice fleet accessible to Ilum, Malastare, Kashyyyk. And I have the Death Star next to Hoth and Endor. So I've got some force next to just about everything. Although I need, to, I need to deploy on the Death Star to give me a little bit more projection of power over there. So we'll do two troops in Cato to counter the two troops in Malastare. Um, 
we'll do a assault carrier. I think I need to put that on the Death Star. I think that's where I decide to do that. Maybe Namal uh, Mustafar? That seems bad. You should just put that on the Death Star. Really? Why don't I move that? Yeah, I, no, I guess I don't. All right. I get, yeah, there we go. Okay. Mm, nope. Just bad life decisions. Toydaria? Maybe Toydaria or Rod okay. Rodia. Rodia to go to um, Malastare. I think I'm thinking that the only reason to build in Malastare instead of Kashyyyk is to bolster in case the base is there. So I think that's my thought with Rodia instead of Bespin. Although I think the correct move is actually deployed in Bespin and then check um, Hoth or Endor with it. But, oh, maybe I have a assault carrier there already. Yeah, it does look like I have an assault carrier there by the ATAT. -AT. Okay, never mind. Rodia is probably the best move there. Um, again, the idea is I can I can fly an assault carrier out to Endor, and then I can fly it to Hoth next turn and figure out if the base is there. Um, I've got my Super Star Destroyer. I've got Tag on Detain. This feels like a good turn for Detain. Those of you who don't use Detain because you think it's not a good card, you absolutely need to use it. Tag or Boba Fett are great on Detain. Um, if the Rebels attack out, you know, with the idea of I'm going to attack and then I'm going to attack again or whatever it is. Detain is just a, a lovely card. So anyway, we're going Detain, Superstar Destroyer, and Hunt Them Down. Hunt Them Down might be good on Malastare. Um, get rid of those two troops. Uh, we've got a Misdirection. And the, the units he misdirects are Luke and Chirut's mission, which to me, maybe lead the strike team, maybe Demolition... Um, could be a any it could be oh you know what it's probably it could be the Wookiee uprising maybe he's expecting me to go to Kashyyyk and then going to Wookiee so I'll save Vader to go to Kashyyyk um, Tarkin's going to fly in and check Malastare and I'm only going to bring the one assault carrier because if he is in there two assault carriers is going to make a difference and if he's not in there a tank and a troop probably have a better chance than two troops. So moving to Malastare, he asked me if that's all that I brought, and I said yes, and then he reveals the base. Okie dokie, Tarkin, finding the rebel base. So here we go. Uh, overwhelming presence gives me a better shot at surviving, so I'll go ahead and do that. He does not bring a leader here. So that means he's probably likely to attack out of this base again, and I'm not rolling a red dice because of the ion cannon. Uh, my black dice doesn't hit anything. He rolls two red hits, but I block them both, so I'm actually okay here. Um, now I need to not die, so I can play the tank card to block two black hits and two red hits. That seems like a good attempt. Um, he is going to attempt to um, kill Tarkin. So I can do some damage. Two hits. I'll take out to uh, two infantry, both vanguards maybe. And he needs two criticals here to take out Tarkin. And he did, he rolled three. So Tarkin is dead and he heals one of his two troops. Um, but he doesn't have to stay in the battle, he can retreat. So he's gonna go ahead and retreat to Rodia. Um, that assault carrier is not following up. And if he decides to attack out, I now have two assault carriers and a, and a TIE fighter to attempt to wipe out at least some of the troops. Um, but he does not attack out. Instead, he demos Utapau, takes out a Star Destroyer that was on queue and a assault carrier. I will hunt them down, and he doesn't have much to block with. So he's going to let me hunt down the two Y-Wings. Now he can't play Bombing Run, so now the attack out of the base seems less enticing. Although he still could if he wants. He's got Chirrut. Oh, no, he's got Obi-Wan um, and Akbar, so he could do that if he likes. He decides to infiltrate instead, and then Piet will consolidate in Rhodia. So now I've got a nice size group in Rhodia. 
Um, he's still got two Moncals. He's still got some spots he can retreat to. Um, and Mothma might be on. No, she's probably not on Rapid. Okay, we got a Sabotage here onto Celeste with Ozel and Tag both on cards. So, okay. Go ahead and let that happen. The reason I'm not blocking that is I don't know. I think I should be blocking that. Yeah, I don't know why I'm not blocking that. Vader blocking that would make a lot of sense and then just move the Death Star in there instead. Um, but instead, I guess I guess maybe this makes sense. I'm gonna try to cover Endor, make sure that um, you know we're not having tricky rebel base movement going around. So I'll bring a, a fighter and a troop with the idea of then I can move from Endor to Hoth next turn, cover Hoth as well. Yeah, assuming they're not on Rapid, I got some time to cover. I also need to get that Assault Carrier from Dantooine back to my Gido so I can get to Ilum. Akbar is attacking. No, Akbar is hanging out. Yep, just hanging out. Okay. Um, we're going to go ahead and move over into Celeste. Now, I don't have a shield bunker there. And the Rebels have at least one X-Wing, if not two in there, maybe. One X-Wing plus one on Q. So he'll have two X-Wings there next turn. But I'm ahead enough in points where I think that's a reasonable reasonable risk. Plus I got Jared Gerard. And OB is going to block Kato for deployment. So I can't deploy my Assault Carrier there. That seems good. And then uh, I have to see what Mothma's on before I commit to moving into uh, Kashyyyk. So Ozil will drop a Superstar Destroyer on Q, and Mothma will build Alliance in Rhodia. Okay, so she's got to roll for that technically, but just can't roll a blank. Um, so she does that. I just edited that out. And then the Emperor is going to go ahead and move a big pile up nonsense to Magido or to Kashyyyk. We're safe from the Wookiee Uprising for this turn at least, and if he wants to take out a Star Destroyer, that's fine with his opening move. I have a nice, nice counterattack fleet into Malastare next turn. So he's gonna get an action to do something next turn. And I'm gonna try to detain Luke here because I don't have anything over the Rebel base. I was expecting there to be a Rapid or something. There wasn't. Um, so I can try to detain a hero that has a good action card, and Luke's got one in a million, so I'm going to try to detain him with a three. And then he's got um, more dice to defend, so we let him reroll those. Okay, he rolls a three. Um, okay, is what it is. So he blocks the detain. And then we now know where the base is. And his only eligible rapid spots right now are Illum and Hoth. So I need to try to cover Illum and Hoth if possible. I need to, ooh, I like planetary assault here too. So I can keep planetary to cover a plant false leads. I can use Ozel's um, probe card to draw probes if he, again, gets tricky with plant false leads. He deploys one X-Wing into the base. I'm going to deploy um, a little detachment to Toydaria. Um, another one to Rhodia. Although I think it just makes sense to put, yeah, put the Assault Carrier there instead. Don't have anywhere else to put it. Then we'll deploy some stuff into Kashyyyk. And I've got two fighters left that I can put into my Guido, which is where I'm planning on bringing my assault carrier to get to Ilum. Okay, so before I can move into the base, the rebels are going to get into action. So who do I need to save? I need to save the Emperor because I have his card. I need to save Piet, and I need to save Gerard in case it goes after the Death Star. Um, for missions to play, um, Ozel's card is important here to protect against plant false leads. Um, so is Planetary Assault. Um, nothing else is really that important.
important to play here. If this attack doesn't succeed, you know, arguably a rule by fear might make sense with an R&D. Um, but if this attack fails, I can follow up with planetary. You know, I could drop Suntir there and then do whatever. So um, let's see what we got. Still no objective scored. Oh, no, we are playing show no fear. Yep, we do know the base is in Malastair, so that makes sense. Um, no objective points scored yet, though, so he's got to win this fight. And Luke is also going after the Death Star, it looks like. So let's see what he brings. Um, I think he's got to bring everything because he's got to rely on some heals here. So he can flip the combat and then do one in a million with heals if he wants to do that. Um, to try to keep an X-Wing alive. But I will bring Gerard and play his card. And instead of killing a Mon Cal, I'll actually wipe an X-Wing. And then I have the no heal card in my hand. So that was a little bit fortuitous. Um, I don't remember, honestly, if I thought of that when I moved the Death Star there last time, but I'm going to pretend I did. Um, he's going to block red hits. He does not have the block black hits card anymore. Um, so he can flip the combat, but it won't matter because he's rolling no heals. Um, he could also do a damage. So what I need is I need a black hit here. He's flipping the combat. I'm saying no heals. I need a black hit or a crit, and I do have one reroll. And then if I do that, X-Wing's toast. Dolphin and I are just discussing, making sure that's the card he wants to play. Okay, I got one crit, so that X-Wing's toast. And then because I don't need to reroll the black to get the X-Wing, I can just reroll a red. So he blocks two red. So I actually only do one damage here, but I kill the X-Wing, which is the important part, and he's not going to hang around anyway, so that doesn't, doesn't matter. And he just needs one black hit here, which he gets. Um, X-Wing's toast. But the Calamari Cruisers do not have Proton Torpedoes, so the Death Star is safe. It is sitting in place. And now I can counter-attack with the Emperor on top of Luke's position. The other option there was to have Piet for extra rerolls, but I think the most important thing was wiping the... was killing an X-Wing. Um, all right, here's the ground force. The advantage to playing Piet would be if the Death Star did not die then um, I'd have extra ATATs here. Now, this looks overwhelming in space, and I would agree, especially without any Mon Cal cards. The problem being ground is not actually as stable as it could be. So we'll have to see how this combat goes. So I flip the combat. Uh, Dolphin rolls first, so I have, to, I have to undo my roll here. All right, Dolphin rolls one, two, three, four hits, including one crit. Okay, so he can decide whatever he wants to do here. He's going to put it all on the Star Destroyer. Now he does not have the Ion Cannon card. Maybe he does. That would have been a good card to play there. Because the Ion card prevents you from healing. But I'll heal these two two hits from the Star Destroyer. Nope, just one hit from the Star Destroyer, and I'll re-roll and try to, try to kill this Mon Cal. Just need one more red hit. Got it. Okay, one Mon Cal down, one extra damage done. So space is pretty much handled here. Ground combat. I have a nice initial round. He gets a card from the shield generator. So he can pull out tow cables or whatever he wants. Um, I need to take out that generator first before I flip the combat or anything. So he's going to have one nice run here, depending on how I roll. If I have a nice roll, game's over. Um, but we'll see. Okay, he's got all his cards, basically. And then... Pulls 
tow cables, makes sense. I'll take out the generator. And then I'm rolling max dice, max red and black at least. And I need some good red hits here to take out at least one speeder. Can take out the troops next turn. Okay, I got one hit. And then I've got according to my design out too, so he's gonna roll less, um, less ground strength. So I got one, two hits, and then three on one speeder, I believe is how I end up doing this. Maybe, yep, that's the conservative way to do it. Just make sure we kill some stuff. Hope he doesn't roll two heals. He's got Luke and he's got one in a million too. But he's rolling lots of good damage here. So, yep, okay. Okay, he did not use one in a million, but he's got four, four hits, three crits and a black. So with three crits and a black, he can take out an ATST and then a troop. And then he's got to decide what to do. I've got max black dice, so I think he'll probably damage an ATST here. Man, that's an unfortunate roll there, Emperor. Let's see what he decides to do. Yep, damage on the ATST. Okay. Um, so I got two troops and the shield generator. Um, I need to take out this Moncal. I don't have anything to support ground because I played the no heal card via Visa V or through the Death Star last time. So we will just do two damage here, I think. Swarm tactics. Nope, maybe we'll capture. Um, I think capturing Luke's the right thing to do here. Just rely on rolling three hits. He doesn't have any more prevent damage cards, so. We'll go for the capture. He's gonna ion cannon the Star Destroyer so that thing's dead. And then um, Dolphin's rolling first. And he's rolling, um, th that crit does not count. Yep, so a black and a red and a crit. Whew, ton of crits, man, okay. So that's dead, that's dead, that's dead. I can heal the fighter, which I do, and I can heal the assault carrier, which I can do as well. The Moncal is dead, however. Yep, Moncal's dead, assault carrier's claimed. Luke will be captured at the end of this round. So he can still one in a million at the end of this ground combat if he has a bad roll. Um, but I do have the ATST card. So he's got three health of units left, and I have a ton. But I'm running out of damage cards, and he's got some red health here. So he'll blow up a troop. I'll do two damage on the speeder. He's got to not heal it, and then I've got to do enough damage to everything. So I got two on the troop. I got two on the speeder for four. Yep, yep, four and four. Okay. Everything is covered. He cannot heal even if he one in a millions, two red heals or two black heals. So everything is toast. He kills my ATST. And then space combat is done. He has an ion cannon left. I have troops. He cannot wipe my force. And that is the game, folks. Um, so ending on turn six with a rebel base in Malastair. And it looks like he had support of the huts, regional support, so Imperial propaganda helped out there. Death Star plans, that makes sense. Um, he didn't score any on rebel assault or rebel cell. He did have crippling blow. Interesting that that didn't get scored with Chirut's card or Heart of the Empire. Hmm. All right, and then he drew Raid Factory probably at the end, end turn there. So that was it. Just nice and nice and by the books numbers here. Um, you know, just tried to be patient, moved around. I think the decisive moment was the hidden fleet to Geonosis, followed up by Ozel's catch them by surprise. Um, I think that took out his only real hope of getting the Death Star. 
um, especially with Jared Gerard's card. Um, we did get to play that to blow up an X-Wing. That was pretty fun. Um, and yeah, got, got a couple of missions off. Uh, I didn't mind not starting with any draws. I, I think it did send me, set me behind, especially with the rough probes there. I mean, at the end, I still didn't know if it was Ilum or Hoth. Um, but yeah. Anyway, thanks you guys for watching. Sorry, this took a little long to edit. I got more in the works. I'll uh, see you around. Thanks for watching.